ஹலோ எவ்ரிவன் சுவாமி விவேகானந்தா நரேந்திரநாத் தத்தா எயிட்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டி டூ டூ நைன்டீன் நாட் டூ ஹூ லேட்டர் கேம் டு பி நோன் ஆஸ் சுவாமி விவேகானந்தா ஸ்ப்ரெட் ராமகிருஷ்ணாஸ் மெசேஜ் அண்ட் ட்ரை டு ரீகன்சைல் டு இட் டு த நீட்ஸ் ஆஃப் கண்டெம்பரரி இந்தியன் சொசைட்டி ஹி அமர்ஜ்ட் ஆஸ் த ப்ரீச்சர் ஆஃப் நியோ ஹிந்துவிசம் செட் இன் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்சஸ் ஆஃப் ராமகிருஷ்ணா த டீச்சிங்ஸ் ஆஃப் த உபனிஷாட்ஸ் அண்ட் த கீதா அண்ட் அண்ட் த எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் ஆஃப் த புத்தா அண்ட் ஜீசஸ் ஆர் த பேசிஸ் ஆஃப் விகா விவேகானந்தாஸ் மெசேஜ் டு த வேர்ல்ட் அபவுட் ஹியூமன் வேல்யூஸ் ஹீ சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு த வேதாந்தா விச் ஹீ கன்சிடர்ட் அ ஃபுல்லி ரேஷ்னல் சிஸ்டம் வித் அ சுப்பீரியர் அப்ரோச் ஹிஸ் மிஷன் வாஸ் டு பிரிட்ஜ் த கல்ஃப் பிட்வீன் பரமார்த்தா சர்வீஸ் அண்ட் வியாபாரா பிஹேவியர் அண்ட் பிட்வீன்ஸ் spirituality and day to day life vivekananda believed in the fundamental oneness of god and said for our own motherland a junction of the two great systems hinduism and islam is the only hope emphasizing social action he declared that knowledge without action is useless he lamented the isolationist tendencies and the touch me not attitude of hindus in religious matters he frowned at religion's tacit approval of the oppression of the poor by the rich he believed that it was an insult to god and humanity to teach religion to a starving man he pointed out that the masses needed to two kinds of knowledge secular knowledge about how to work for their economic uplift and the spiritual knowledge to have faith in themselves and strengthen their moral sense He called upon his countrymen to imbibe a spirit of liberty, equality and free thinking. At the Parliament of Religions held at Chicago in 1893, Swami Vivekananda made a great impression on people by his learned interpretations. The keynote of his opening address was the need for a healthy balance between spiritualism and materialism. envisaging a new culture for the whole world he called for a blend of the materialism of the west and the spiritualism of the east into a new harmony to produce happiness for mankind vivekananda gave several lectures on vedanta in the usa and in london before returning to india in 1897 in india he delivered a series of lectures the focus of which were to infuse into a new generation a sense of pride in india's past a new faith in india's culture and a rare sense of confidence in india's future to bring about a unification of hinduism by pointing out the common foundation of its sects to make the educated people see the misery of the downtrodden and work for their uplift by the application of political vedanta principles practical vedanta principles his emphasis was not only on personal salvation but also on social good and reform In 1897, he founded the Ramakrishna Mission. Vivekananda was a great humanist and used the Ramakrishna Mission for humanitarian relief and social work. The mission stands for religious and social reform. Vivekananda advocated the doctrine of service, the service of all beings. The service of Jeeva, living objects, is the worship of Shiva. Life itself is religion. by its service in the divine exists within man vivekananda was for using technology and modern science in the service of mankind ever since its inception the mission had been has been running a number of schools hospitals dispensaries it offers help to the afflicted in times of natural calamities like earthquakes famines floods and epidemics the mission has developed into a worldwide organization It is a deeply religious body but it is not a proselyte testing body it does not consider itself to be a sect of hinduism in fact this is one of the strong reasons for the success of the mission unlike arya samaj the mission recognizes the utility and value of image worship in developing spiritual fervor and worship of the eternal omnipotent god although it emphasizes on the essential spirit non not the symbols or rituals it believes that the philosophy of vedanta will make a christian a better christian and a hindu a better hindu it was in 1898 that swami vivekananda acquired a large piece of land at velour 
where the Ramakrishna Math was finally shifted and registered as such. The monastic order is open to all men without discrimination on the basis of caste or creed. Like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you. Bye.